Listen, how do you turn all this raw, shaky, uncut footage into a clean, professional recap? You know, there might be missing B-roll, not enough footage, inconsistent lighting, no time for custom graphics on the fly, but then that's where Adobe Stock comes in. Connecting with the idea of surrendering and letting go. I still have a hard time letting go of things, but I learned a couple things from the script. Years and years of making mistakes, learning, relearning. My personal life was growing up almost in reaction to the, these kind of storylines. Uh, today I'm going to be doing BTS. <laughs> abundant and exactly where you should be. Stop searching for big answers and notice the small ones. Your doubt is the darkness needed for your stars to shine. What's up everyone? My name is Desiree LeCap, AK LeCapture. I'm a filmmaker who also shares educational film tips and tricks all across social media. Today, I'm gonna help you put all sorts of footage you may have captured during an event or even the most chaotic shoot day into a clean, engaging final product with the right tools from Adobe Stock. In this video, we're gonna go step by step from the completed edit to show you how to utilize these assets in your project, including maybe abstract overlays, typography, graphics titles, lower thirds, stock footage, transitions, you know, all the good stuff. Let's get into it. First, the process, the visual baseline breakdown. Briefly, I wanna walk you through this timeline I completed in Adobe Premiere Pro, where I took a ton of the crazy behind scenes footage from our short film, Crack Fortunes, and I spiced it up into about a minute clean recap. We have our timeline here and I wanna elevate this a little more. So there's clips and markers that I put here that need graphics like lower thirds, titles, and then there's some gaps like right here here that I want to fill in with maybe some templates for a smooth transition. Now that we're on Adobe Stock, which has so many assets that we could use to really elevate our recap, I'm excited. We're going to search for a photos. We're just going to put photos here. Oh my gosh, something similar to this right here. It's very minimal. I'm able to pop in all the photos like this and it's just gonna do the transitions for me. We're gonna start with this one because there's actually a gap in my timeline I wanna fill and this is what I was looking for. A Mogurt file that already has the animation and the transitions I want for the photos rather than me sitting here and animating it myself. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to import a Mogurt file into Premiere Pro. Go to your window and go to graphics, templates, and over here, you want to click the icon right here to install a Mogurt file, which is motion graphics template. So we're going to go to my downloads and we're going to go Adobe Stock. So that's one way to do it. As you guys can see, it was already imported into mine because my Adobe account was connected to my Adobe Stock, which is amazing actually, because it does save a few steps. So from here, we're going to just go ahead and drag that onto my timeline over there and let it do its thing. And as you could see, it literally is already all there. And it is so easy because all of these files right here, you just gotta double click into it and properties will open up. Now we just import our media here. Now the biggest thing about this video is needing lower thirds that way our audience knows who they are talking to. I love this actually. It says the details, 1920 by 1080. There's six styles. Okay, custom color controls. And it's a Mogurt as well. So back to Premiere Pro and watch. We're gonna go into our graphics template and it's already there. Again, I'm gonna drag and drop it on top of our footage here. I see that there's six options though. So let's go into double clicking into it. And you could choose between your style selections with this slider right here. Same with the other template. This is where we adjust our text, the color, the font under the properties panel. I'm gonna go ahead and scrub to where I see all of it right here. And where it says modern titles, I'm gonna put 
her name and then under smooth transition i'm gonna put her role long enough to be on screen for everybody to read cool i love it now i gotta just do the same thing for everybody else because i want it to be consistent throughout the whole video i'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate this and drag it Cool, now that I've done all the lower thirds, which looks amazing and consistent, we're gonna need these titles here. Simple text box, oh. These dynamic promo title overlays are something else. That might be for the opening, I love this actually. And let's see how many options there are. There's six styles again. I need a title in the beginning, which might be the first one here. I love the dynamic promo title overlay okay i love this one adobe stock really provides us with so many assets to where we're able to save so much time in post-production and that's the best part let's put the font as one that matches our that more matches it so i'm gonna make this one orange and then we'll put behind the scenes as almost a different font Oh, similar to that, and we'll bold it. Oh my gosh, yep. So right here's where the question will go. Again, we downloaded that earlier, so let's go ahead and drag and drop this over here. And we're just gonna change the question. So the question was, which I marked it right here. So I'm just gonna copy that. Connecting with the idea of surrendering and letting go. I'll do that there. Okay, it's already feeling good. I kind of wanted to make this different where it says director gets for customized fortune cookies. I feel like for recaps, not everything has to be verbally said. I think that saves a lot of time in the actual edit. So this is where I bring in the graphics from Adobe Stock that really helps save time in the timeline. Okay, so this will be kind of more a transition title to the next sequence of this little recap. Text one will be customized cookies. Amazing, abundant, and exactly where you should be. I think that was all, that was all of it. I love it. Well, y'all, that is how we utilize assets from Adobe Stock. It's amazing. There's thousands of options, templates, overlays, graphics, uh, stock footage. We haven't even touched the stock footage, but let me tell y'all, there's so much here that you could utilize. And just like that, if you're worried about any of your footage not being usable or being able to put into an event recap, don't worry, you could really elevate that recap with assets from Adobe Stock. It saves so much time and it really helps turn it into a polished professional recap. You can elevate any project even when things don't go as planned. If you found this helpful, make sure to like, share, drop a comment with your favorite Adobe Stock asset that you've used. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching and remember, it's not about having perfect footage, it's about knowing how to put it all together. Keep being great, go out and create, and have fun doing it. Peace.